Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali from Ahmed Acrylics, and today we're going to make a winter galaxy, so let's get right into it. The first color we're going to be using is dioxane purple, and we're going to use this on top of the canvas. Just to make it easier, I'm going to be using the sponge, and I'm just going to spread this around the top. You obviously don't need a sponge, you could use a brush if you'd like, but I just have more fun using a sponge, so you can do the same. Once you've got a nice spread like this, we're going to move on to the next color, which is going to be magenta. And you're essentially going to do the same thing, just more in the middle. You can also use the magenta to go over the dioxin purple just a little bit so it's blended, but don't go too much. If it looks too dark for you, don't worry, this is just the first layer, we're going to add a bunch more colors. So the next color we're going to be adding is quinacridone rose, and you're going to add this right in the center and near the bottom. And then same rule applies as the last time, you can blend this with the magenta and the dioxin purple, but don't go overboard. You can see that I'm just kind of doing gentle taps just so it blends nicely a little bit, but I'm not going too much. Now that the canvas has dried up, we're going to do the same thing we just did again with Quinacridone Rose, but this time it's just going to be more detailed towards the middle. Now between the magenta that you added and the dioxin purple, we're going to add dioxin purple plus white. This is just to give it a nicer blend and you're going to try to mimic the shape of the pink that you have. And what you can see me doing is tapping the mixture into the pink. So now what I'm kind of doing is making circles with the paint just so it blends in with the dioxin purple up top. So you can see this technique that I'm doing, I'm kind of just making circles. So now I'm going to do the same thing with dioxin purple that I just did, but downwards. So now you're going to see it starts to blend. So now that the pink part has dried up, we're going to take quinacridone rose again and then do the same thing we did. But this time it's going to be even more focused in the middle. So now we're going to take a mixture of magenta and quinacridone rose to do outside of the pink. Now that you're done with the background, we're going to add the stars, and the way I would do this is take a big brush, put white on it and a little bit of water, and then with my thumb, I would start flicking at the canvas. And now we're just going to make the mountains. I'm taking the same brush actually, and I'm just going to start making a mountain shape with white. And now you can just see me filling it in. And I'm kind of having a little bit of a mountainous shape, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's your painting at the end of the day, so do whatever you want with it to make it, you know, more authentic to you. Mm -hmm. 
Now before all the white dries up, what I'm going to do is take dioxane purple and start making streaks within the white. This is just going to make it look more like snow. Once you're satisfied with that, we're going to make some little mountains. So I would take quinacridone rose and a bit of white, and I would just start making triangular shapes. Uh, you can make as many mountains as you want, but I'm just going to make three. So now to give the mountain some depth, what I'm going to do is take a bit of dioxane purple and then just on one side, I'm going to start highlighting the mountain. And then with a bit of a damper brush, I'm going to just connect the two. I'm going to do the same thing with this mountain here and this is going to make it look like it's two separate mountains if you add the highlights. So yeah, you can see me doing the exact same thing. And now to make it look more like a wintry scene, we're going to add some snow. So once it's dried up, take some white and then kind of just start tapping with the white. You don't want to make too smooth of lines because then it won't look like snow. And if you feel like you put too much white, I would suggest taking your thumb and just tapping it. So yeah, as you can see here, I've put too much, so I'm just tapping it to get rid of some of it, but not too much. This is something I would tell you guys to avoid. Don't try to make your line so smoothly like this. It should be more taps rather than strokes. But if you do this by accident, just use your thumb and tap it to give it some texture. And then on the other side, you're obviously going to want to add some snow, but try to put less. And then these lines, try to make them a bit more smoother. Now that the snow on the bottom is also dried up, what you're going to do is take some white and with a fine brush and then just add some lines just to make it look a bit more detailed. Now we're going to add some trees and I mess up really badly here so just be careful with this part. Making the lines is always hard for me. But basically we're just going to add some trees and you can add them wherever you'd like. And the way I add trees is I just do some taps on one side of the tree and then on the other and then I make them progressively bigger. And then once you make your tree, you know, you could start adding details within it to make it look a bit darker. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to start fast forwarding it a bit just so I don't bore you guys, but I just start making trees wherever you'd like.
And just to add some depth, I'm making trees that are really far and I'm making some trees that are really close, just to, again, give the painting some depth. And then right here, I'm making some trees that are really less detailed, that are really far away, just so it looks like there's another forest of trees right next to the mountains. And now you're ready to take off your tape, and now you could just add some details if you'd like. So what I'm doing is adding some big stars. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really enjoyed making this painting. Here are the colors once again that I used. It was dioxane purple right here. Magenta. And quinacridone rose. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what else you'd like to see. Take care, guys.